Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. I got my little iron in um, in the mail today that I had ordered that I was telling you I was waiting for. And I want to give it a try real quick before I turn in for the night. So I have a gold charger plate left over from the Christmas. Um, I actually bought these for my daughter's wedding and we have some left over, but they were part of the Christmas uh, collection at Dollar Tree. And I have one of these calendars, part of one of these calendars, from the 2021 calendar series at Dollar Tree left over. Uh, shine bright in all you do. And I'm going to take out this page that says you matter. And we're going to put that on the center of this gold charger. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my Mod Podge onto my plate so that it can be drying. Because as we discovered in the experiment, it needs to be dried completely in order to not wrinkle. So I'm going to grab this brush here and get that going. Now I'm just going to, I'm just doing it in the well of the charger plate and hoping I can get it to fit just right. I've done this before. <clears throat> you kind of have to make it fit in the well, otherwise it just doesn't lay very flat when you have to start bending things. So. Got a little something in there. This charger plate is very slick, so it's wanting to kind of like puddle and peel away in spots. So I'm just going to keep brushing over it, getting it to stay. Each time I brush it, it's thinning out. Okay, I'm going to get that drying. Got my tiny little iron. It's really cute. It's just tiny, heating up over here. It says it's rechargeable. I'm not quite sure about that. Anyway, all right. So I have this. Um, it's like a cookie tin, popcorn tin lid. So that's what I'm going to start with as far as getting my size correct on here. And it's pretty much centered over the dot, over the hole. Okay, I'm going to use a pencil to trace my lid. I'm going to do it really lightly in case I need to reposition. Um, normally I use a glass pot lid uh, for tracing things that are smaller than the, the splatter screen. But... Um, I didn't have a pot lid that was just right for this particular charger plate. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to put this down again and I'm going to make my line a little darker so I can see it a little better. And then I'm going to cut it out. If you have one of those um, circle template things that you can stick in the middle without damaging the print, then I would use that, but I don't have one of those. I have one that I have to put a pin in the middle of, but I don't want to damage the print and do that. So do your best to cut nice and smooth on this circle, because on charger plates, I don't always like to put like a rope trim or something around the edge. Sometimes I just like to let it be and have the edge be showing so take your time and cut nice and neat this is a calendar sheet but most of this is black so i'm not really worried too much about the um print showing through i am a little bit worried not a lot so i'm just going to take a black ink pad and i'm just going to kind of 
wipe over the edge. Now, smarter me would have done this before I cut it so that I wouldn't have an edge, but you know, wouldn't have make it a mess. But I didn't think about it, so make sure it's a waterproofing pad. You don't want it to bleed through. And I'm just holding it up to the light, and that pretty much is taking care of me being able to see the calendar print. So now I just have to wait for this Mod Podge to dry, and I'm going to take my heat gun to it to help it along. What you're seeing there is just the brush strokes that have dried in the Mod Podge. I don't think it's going to be a big issue. Now, I put this down and see that I have to trim it a little more. Now, I have this pot lid that is glass, but it's a little too small. So this is where it gets a little tricky because you want it to look nice, but it's hard to find something exactly right. So I have this burner cover. It's a little bit bigger than my pot lid. Not a lot, but just enough, I think. I just need to make sure that I know where my words are. Okay, I'm just going to do a light mark that I can erase. Let's see how that looks. Okay, now I get to cut it out again. down to protect my surface. I'm going to grab my parchment paper. I just had an idea. You could use this parchment paper, put it down here and trace around the inside of your plate, and then cut that out and use it as a pattern. But we're going to go with this. All right, my mini little iron. See how it works. See if it was worth the thirteen dollars. <laughs> this one does not have a steam setting. It's just heat. Let's take a look. Seems like it's stuck down. My plate is warm on the back. In fact, it's warm enough to peel that sticker right off. It's warm, but it's not hot. Um, I do have a little peeling up happening right here. Let's see if we can push that down. Now you're supposed to put the parchment on. Um, it start, I got it a tiny bit bigger than I probably should have, so it's trying to roll up. But I can see here... There's movement, so it's not attached there yet, so we need to hit it for a little bit more Up on the top. Always examine your pieces before you move on and see if there's anything that needs more attention. And really push into where it was wrinkled as it went up the edge a little. Make sure you get those edges down. Still have it bubbling right here where it's not attached. Everywhere else seems to be good. It's just not attaching right there. I don't know why. It's moving it around. It's like an air bubble under there. I 
Honestly, I didn't get enough Mod Podge or something. Oh, there it goes. It just needed that bubble to be squished out. Got a bubble underneath of it while I was ironing it down. Don't give up on a project if you have a bubble. Just work it to the edge as best you can. All right. It's down there pretty good. I like to get plates that are decorative on the edge and then just let the art be in the middle. Some people would say, oh, no, 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 you got to glue a trim around it. You don't always need to have a trim around it. If you took the time to cut your your picture neatly and the edge is clean, you don't need to put a trim there to cover that unless you want to. And you don't always need a bow. I disagree with the fact that every one of these has to have a bow. I prefer things a little bit simple. And this with that flashy gold edging is enough for me. I am not a big glitzy, shiny, glittery decor person. So I am seeing through this calendar page um, my brush strokes on my Mod Podge. So we need to be careful with those, especially on the calendar pages because they're thinner. And the using the ink pad to kind of muckle, muddle up the back a little bit. I'm not seeing any of the calendar writing on the backside come through. So that's a good good deal. Uh, this little iron, it works. It's very lightweight though. And I think if I were to do it again, I would buy a little heavier duty one. Uh, on Amazon, it had really good reviews. So that's what I went with. And it was just kind of hard to tell what it was going to be when I got it. So I think I'm going to look at Walmart and see if they have one I can actually look at before I buy. All right, there you have it. That's my U Matter charger plate done with the iron-on method of Mod Podge. Let me know what you're thinking of this project in the comments section below. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel to grow. And let me know, would you fancy this up a little bit more, or do you like it kind of simple? Um, and if you were going to try... Uh, fancy it up a little more, what would you put on it? Would you do a bow? Would you do a trim? What colors would you do? So let me know what you're thinking. This has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.